and welcome to Little Pepper, you know what time it is. Back with another installment. We're talking to you guys about Kanye's recent tweets that went out and he's trending once again. Um, these are the tweets that got deleted earlier on, actually. So uh, buckle up and tune in. So uh, Kanye West, as I said, hold on a minute. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, click on that bell button for a notification of the uploads. And for those of you returnees, you got the minerals, you got the minerals, yeah, yes. All right, so listen, I'm just going to read some of his tweets, talk a little bit about, obviously, Kanye, and then we'll just go from there. So uh, one of the tweets that Kanye put is, Kim was trying to fly to Wyoming with a doctor to lock me up, like on a movie, Get Out. Because I cried about saving my daughter's life yesterday. NBC locked up Bill Cosby. I love my wife. My family must live next to me. It's not up to E or NBC anymore. Righteous indignation. Uh, West children never do Playboy West. I don't know what that means, to be honest. I'm not going to be honest with you. He's got a little thing here where, obviously, um, uh, Kim, Kim's mum actually messaged Kanye and said, obviously, this year, are you ready to talk? now or whatever i don't know if it really is chris but hey he said chris and kim call me now he says like i mean some of these tweets are really concerning i think they're concerning because obviously it's the way that it's because obviously we heard him talking like some people have already tried to defend the fact that this guy you know he's just this is his normal self but i'm like i don't think this is his normal self like we know him to be egotistical we know him to be you know out there outlandish um on one but this just doesn't feel right this just doesn't feel right you know what i mean you know chris and kim call me now and the winter always showed me love uh but when i told her i was going to gap she looked at me like i was crazy then she called back kissing my ass now obviously some of these tweets are real let's be i think some of these tweets are from the heart they, he means the stuff but some of it just seems a little bit odd. You know, Shia was the sp um, Shia, Shia, she, Shia was this was deposed to do the first um Yeezy Gap shoot and he never showed up. Okay. Uh if I get locked up like Mandela, y'all will know why. Kim tried to bring a doctor to lock me up with a doctor. Kinda mad still. Shia is cap on guard. Um come and get me. This is the Exodus like Pusher Pusher said. Then he tweets Drake. Bro, it's just really weird. Like all of it, all in a, sh a short hour. I put my my life on guard that North's uh, mum would never photograph her doing Playboy, and that's on God. I'm at the ranch. Come and get me. Okay, I mean this makes a bit more sense. So he's saying, obviously, I put my life on God that North's mum would never photograph her doing Playboy, and that's on God. I'm at the ranch. Come and get me. So obviously, we know that obviously there has been some issues between Kanye and Kim um, in the past about the way she dressed. Um, I know that there was a there was mutterings that obviously he wasn't feeling the way that she dressed and they were at odds in that regard to to each of those things. But I don't know. That's 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 what they had said previously. And obviously they were saying there was tension between the two of them. So to have this makes kind of sense. Um, obviously you put in the last tweet. I think the last one you saw him obviously put up as well. West children will never do Playboy, and I pray they never do Playboy because that's an exploitation we don't need to see. Do you feel me? Um, he said I put my life on the line for my children that North's mother would never sell her sex tape. You know, um, you know. So I guess obviously I, I don't know if this is tweets against Ray J. I don't know if this is tweets against uh, Kim. I don't know what he, I don't know who he's aiming these tweets at, but I guess obviously he's saying that he would never have it if it came down to it. Do you know what I'm saying? Everybody knows the movie Get Out is about me. That's why we're like, blah, what? Is that about you? Are you saying that you want to you need to get out? Uh, is he maybe is he trying to is he trying to morse code? Is he trying to trying to speak to us? Maybe he's silently trying to talk to us. Today. Listen, he wants to get out of him and Kim. You know, maybe him and Kim are you know maybe he like he said maybe he's in the matrix of the situation. Maybe the maybe the people are trying to get him. You know, maybe that's what he's talking about. You know, maybe these there people that are in there that are trying to make trying to make him. You know, I don't know. Maybe maybe something like that's happening. Cause get out of the movie, the guy obviously is in a nice it seems like a nice family, then suddenly realizes that actually the people are trying to to, you know, trying to turn him into something else. They're trying to steal his body. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. It's so that everybody knows the movie Get Out is about me. Chris don't play with me and Kanye are not allowed around my I'm guessing that's gonna say house. Um so yeah, just a couple of tweets. I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit mad for me. Um I'm concerned obviously by Kanye's uh behavior um you obviously yeah look here uh not around around my children chris don't play with me you and that kamye are not allowed around my children y'all try to lock me up oh chile oh chile 
I don't know why. Now, I'm going to say, obviously, part of this, yeah, probably may be mental. But also, as well, yo, blood. You know, like, because if you talk talking about gout, someone put it here as well. I was going to say that as well, like, just about to um, pronounce that. That, you know, obviously... That some of the guys have gone into the Kardashian family and not come out already. I remember Lamar Odom. He almost lost, you know, some of some lost lost himself as well in that. You know what I'm saying? Like people come into that family with the girls and it don't look like it ends well, bruv. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Um but yeah, this must obviously go this must obviously like I said, it must go deeper. Um, and why why and why was his memory gone after the last major truth rant he did in Sacramento 2016? They 51 would him and he came out of effing zombie, went incoherent and lucid, came out in a weird state, paid attention to his interview just three months after his last hospital stay. Mmm. That is interesting. Mmm. That's what I was saying. I, I didn't want to say it's totally mental, but I said, like I said in the last video, I said the industry he came from, you know, something happens. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they're trying to do. Um, you know, there's something not quite right that is spiritual. People working behind the scenes. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I'm, yeah, I don't know, man. You know, and nobody, nobody's really liking the fact that obviously he exposed the fact that, you know, he said they were considering an abortion because uh, North will have to see that one day in the future, right? Um, and, yeah, so we don't want to, we don't want that to happen. Uh, but, at the end of the day, something is not quite right. And we need to, I don't know if you need to get medical staff around uh, Kanye or there's something more sinister afoot. I don't know, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, click on the bell button and uh, let us know your thoughts down below.